Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Before we get started, I wanted to tell you that all links and all timestamps will be in the description below. Okay, so today we will be talking about um, converting Spotify music, but also various other services such as Apple Music, or Amazon Music or Google Play Music, whatever your heart desires or whatever service you have, you can basically convert it to a playable playlist for your music bot on Discord. And um, today we will try and find a playlist on Spotify and then convert it to a usable playlist for our music bot. So um, I'm currently going to just go back here and we're going to select mood, happy hits and I'm just going to follow this and as you can see it says follow. Now let's get to the next part which means that we will start converting these playlists to a usable format for our music bot. So as you know you can't directly play back Spotify with your music bot or music from Spotify if you add the playlist or something on the playlist link. It doesn't work. So there's services like this and this is one of the best. Um, it's called Soundiz. It's a really cool website. Also it will be linked in the description below. And uh, there's different plans. So you can have the free plan and the premium plan. The cool thing about the premium plan is that you can keep sync, uh, keep your playlist in sync, which is really cool. So uh, all the data there, like, cause Spotify keeps updating their playlists. Um, over time, you can always keep your playlist up, up to date with Spotify, which is really, really cool. Okay, so um, if you go to your sign up, you can sign up for the service. It's for free, as you could see previously. And you can just sign up with Google, Facebook and Twitter or create an account. Um, I'm just quickly going to go to the app and log in with my Google account. After this, you should see all your uh, stuff. Well, it probably isn't going to be there yet with you because you first need to link your account. So what we will be using is Spotify and YouTube and uh, you will have to click on this and it will open up a login window from which you can log in with your Spotify account. And if you click on YouTube, you can log in with your YouTube account. After that, you, you should be able to see all your playlists on your account like I can and you can uh, disable YouTube and whatever platforms are shown here. But since Spotify is shown at the top, it's perfect for me right now. So let's get to converting the playlist. Uh, we can basically do that by clicking on here and as you can see, it shows you the thumbnail for that and all the songs that are in this playlist. Now you can go to this uh, triple dot and click convert. And it will say what title you want to have for this and what description, obviously. Um, this is optional, this is required. And uh, if you don't want to have duplicate tracks, you can select this option. I'm just going to do that for now. And this is really important. You will need to set the privacy as public, which um, allows the bot to then see the playlist because otherwise it can't see it only you have access to it from your account and then you click save configuration now we will show you all the songs in this playlist from spotify and you can select which ones you want to keep and which ones you don't want to keep uh, i'm just going to leave it as is and i'm going to click confirm track list select youtube and now it will start to convert all the songs to YouTube, to a YouTube playlist. So basically what it's doing is search, it searches up all the songs on um, YouTube and then puts them into a playlist. Which is pretty nifty and handy and that way the music bot, which most music bots support, um, can play back that uh, playlist. And um, if you want to 
get your own music bot or host your own music bot set up one. I've made a video previously and that will be linked in the description as well. Uh, it's a really good video, really detailed if you want to do your own music bot uh, set up uh, for your like private use or your 24 seven use, uh, how to do that, what it's about. And it's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty awesome. That's what I'm going to use for today's uh, tutorial. So yeah, it's still taking some seconds. Okay. And it says conversion success. You might get an error where it says uh, some there were some uh, tracks that couldn't be converted. That usually happens when uh, the tracks can't be found on uh, YouTube. So then it can't convert it, which is unfortunate, but usually only very rarely happens and you basically can find all, most or all of the tracks. So I'm gonna click show. And as you can see, it set up a thumbnail and all the songs uh, that it found on YouTube are in this list. I think this uh, is even correct in terms of, yeah, it seems to be correct in terms of the listing. And now what you can do is, is click this triple dot again and open on YouTube. And this will show you the playlist on YouTube. Now what you can do now is you can copy this playlist go to uh, Discord where your music bot is located. I'm already in a channel here and you can type play or uh, something, whatever your Discord music bot uses as a command. I'm just going to use uh, what mine uses. Type play and then insert the playlist link. And now we'll convert. I mean connect. quickly going to turn down the audio and um, this is really really cool it plays back basically all the um, songs and I can also uh, cl press or oh wait um, type skip and it will play the next song from the playlist so it's really cool it works really really well okay so I thought I still show you some of the additional features that you get with premium and I've gotten it just for the purpose of this video. So basically what you do is cl you click the triple uh, dot and you can click sync with and then per select YouTube, uh, create new playlist, confirm. And now you can select what method it should use, replace the playlist destination tracks by the player's source tracks. So basically it will replace the tracks um, once it's changed. And then we can select when it should start. Uh, we can select Saturday as the earliest time. And I'm gonna do make it do that uh, at four in the morning each time, each day. And that way the playlist will always stay up to date. Also time zone is Berlin for me, that's true. And then we click save the configuration and as you can see, it's already scheduling and synchronization created. And this is super cool because it will automatically synchronize the tracks for you. And you won't have to keep doing this because Spotify obviously changes their uh, tracks on a frequent basis. So their playlists and that way you can always keep up with the latest, um, latest playlists and the latest tracks in that playlist. And that's super cool. And it doesn't cost a lot, it's just $3 a month. If you really wanna get it, you can. And as you can see, it all supports so many services, so it is really worth it. And now for the end of it, I'm just gonna make it run now. And now it will start uh, to convert the Spotify playlist. And it's currently running that execution. It's not saying when it's going to be finished but it's gonna be at some point soon. It takes a while to um, add it. So yeah, it will be a bit until, until it will be there. But I think uh, this is a good place to conclude this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've liked the video. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.
to you.